Hi XRP community. Uh, Multi-signing is a great way to uh, improve security for your account or to allow you and some others to uh, have to decide together if you want to submit a transaction to the XRP ledger. On some blockchains it would require a smart contract to do this but the XRP ledger has a native multi-sign functionality. Um, and I created the XRPL multi-sign tool as a graphical user interface uh, straight from your browser to enable multi-signing and uh, create a signer list and sign individually uh, the same transaction and later combine them into one multi-sign transaction and submit it to the XRP ledger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the repository. Of course you can clone it and use the build instructions um, to compile or run in development your own version of the project. But the easiest way is to just go to the releases and get the ready to use code. So I'm downloading the zip now. And let's open it and open the index.html file. So this is the tool, it's running from your browser. Uh, please only run this code on a computer you completely trust. So your own computer, not infected by anything, no weird pop-up, pop-ups or uh, anything. Uh, disable your browser plugins, etc, etc. Uh, of course, during the signing uh, and when entering your secret, uh, you should be offline. The tool will force you to be offline, actually, uh, but still please use a secure environment. So I'm going to use testnet uh, for this example, but of course, uh, and, and of course you should try it on testnet first, but if you feel comfortable, you can use it on live net. And uh, there are actually three stages. Uh, stage one is that someone composes a transaction that should be multi-signed. Then the individual signers can use section two to sign the transaction with their own signature. And everybody can just distribute their signed transaction, which is completely secure. It doesn't contain your uh, secret. It's, it's signed already. Uh, you can distribute the, the uh, signed transactions to one person that combines them and then submits it to the XRP ledger. And of course, if the transactions, if the signatures meet, uh, meet the uh, signer list quorum, the transaction will be uh, applied to the XRP ledger. So, I prepared a few uh, demo accounts. These are accounts and secrets on testnet, of course. And um, I uh, here are a few fictional or not that uh, fictional uh, people. Uh, there's Alice and Bob, we know them. Uh, Alice is going to uh, be the owner of an account that's going to be uh, multi-sign enabled. And then there's Bob, Pepper, Arwen, and Dino, and they all are uh, will be signers uh, that uh, either have to combine their uh, transactions, their signed transactions, or in case of Dino, uh, here we see that we're going to create a signer list uh, with a quorum of three, meaning either Bob, Pepper, and Arwen have to combine their um, signatures, their signed transactions, or Dino can just sign it himself and submit it or of course uh, mixed with any of the other signers although there wouldn't really be any use because Dino can just sign himself and submit it. Of course Dino and Pepper are my parrots and Arwen is my daughter so not that fictional. Um, but anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to compose a transaction uh, and of course we have to connect to LiveNet or TestNet first so let's use TestNet and I'm going to copy paste the account of Alice over here and the tool will inform me that this account hasn't been set up for multi-signing so the tool will help you through that process. So I'm going to click set up multi-signing and I'm saying I want, I want to create a signer list with a quorum of three and these are actually the signers so there's one, there's two, there's three Actually, now the signer weight of the signer list equals the quorum. So we can see the signer list transaction being uh, prepared here. But we're going to add another signer, which is Dino, and he has a quorum of three. Meaning we can uh, sign a transaction with a weight of six, while there's only three required to actually uh, compose a transaction and submit it to the XRP ledger. So. Um, the tool composes a signer list set transaction from uh, Alice's account 
with a quorum of three and four signer records with weight one, one, one and three. And now the tool requires me to go offline, which I'm going to do. And now I can enter either my family seat or my mnemonic if you use a hardware wallet. So I'm going to enter the secret of Alice. The transaction is signed and the tool will soon say now go back online to actually submit the transaction to the XRP ledger. So let's do that. This may take a few seconds because we just went back online and of course the tool will have to reconnect to the XRP ledger. And here we go. It's a successful transaction and we have a transaction hash. So we can, of course, go to test.bitom.com and use the Explorer to find a transaction hash. And here you can see the transaction. You can see there's a testnet account with 10,000 fake XRP. And now it's a little less because we spend a few drops on the fee to uh, change the settings of this account and you can now see there's a signing trestle the quorum of three and there's four signers with a weight of three one 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 great so now we can continue and we can actually go back to compose transaction the account is still there and now we won't get a message that there's no signing list and there's no multi-signing setup uh, the tool actually fetched the information from the XRP ledger and we see our quorum of three, we see there are four signers and now we can compose a transaction. So we want to compose a payment, this is actually the JSON format of uh, uh, transactions for the XRP ledger. And what we're going to do is to, we are going to create a transaction from Alice's account and we're going to send some XRP to Bob and the sequence is actually pre-filled fetched from the xrp ledger uh, the last ledger sequence this is actually the expiration ledger of this transaction if it hasn't been signed and submitted before this ledger it will be invalid and it will default to one month about one month of ledgers you can completely remove it and it will be valid forever the fee is actually a little bit higher than the 12 drops uh, that is by default because the multi-sign transactions require a little high, a little bit higher fee, uh, actually a fee per signer, and this is quite safe. So we're going to specify the amount uh, as a string in drops. So we're going to send 1,000 XRP, and that's in drops. So we gotta add six zeros to make it XRP. And there are some memos, fake memos pre-filled. You can just type text, you have a text here and the tool will automatically encode it for you. You can remove it or remove one or enter a few more. So we're saying uh, the memo type is a sample memo and the memo data, data is high from Wietse. So we're going to render the transaction and this is actually the base transaction we can now distribute to the signers. So I can just copy this and send it, send it to Bob, Pepper and Arwen or just to Dino and ask them to sign it and uh, um, send their signed transaction back to me. So now uh, I'm going to pretend I'm Bob. I'm going to sign transaction and I'm going to enter or paste actually the base transaction I received from Alice. And the tool will show you what it's actually about. And we can see the quorum and the signers. And now, uh, since I am uh, Bob, and this is the account and the secret by Bob, I'm going to select uh, my account, which is this account. And of course, the tool will say go offline again. So here we go. And I'm going to sign this transaction because I agree with sending 1000 XRP uh, to myself in this case. Of course, I want to receive 1000 fake XRP on testnet. So here we go, this is the signed transaction. And you can see it's a little bit longer, the hexadecimal uh, signed transaction than the base transaction, which makes sense because my signature is added. So of course, uh, Pepper is going to do the same thing, except Pepper has an other account. So this is Pepper. And Pepper is also going to sign the transaction. And then there's Aaron. 
who's actually three months old, so she can't sign anything, but for the sake of the demo, Aaron is also going to sign. And now Dino doesn't have to sign, of course, uh, because the quorum is already met. Um, but let's say Dino is going to sign as well. Oh no, that, I'll save that for later. So now Arvin, Pepper and Bob are sending their signed transactions back to Alice and Alice is going to combine the result. Let's go back online. And wait for the tool to pick up on the internet connection. May take a few seconds, there we are. And we are going to add the first transaction. Uh, let's say we receive the one from Bob first. And the tool will recognize that the transaction needs to be, is, is signed actually by Bob, but needs to be signed by uh, at least a weight of two more. So it will ask us to add more signatures. So I'm going to add the signature of Pepper. And I'm going to add the signature of Arwen. And the signer quorum is met. Existing signer quorum three satisfies the signer list quorum or actually signer weight. I will change that. And now I can submit the multi-sign transaction. And it was successful. And now we can immediately view it on the transaction explorer because here's the hash. And it will open a new tab to the testnet in this case. And we can see that uh, Alice actually sent 1000 XRP to Bob over here. And here's the sample memo. So since on testnet, the testnet faucet uh, sends 10,000 XRP to everybody, you will now see that um, Alice has uh, almost 9,000 XRP instead of 10,000. And I, I used this account for some testing before and you can see uh, Bob now uh, just now received 1000 XRP from the address of Alice. So I'm going to show to demonstrate the same thing but with Dino because he has a weight of three and a quorum is three he can uh, sign and submit by himself. So I'm going to compose a new transaction. The account sequence uh, is now three. Every time you submit a, a transaction to the XRP ledger, the account sequence will increase by one. And let's now send 1000 XRP to Pepper. Okay, here's the base transaction. We're not even going to paste it. We're just going to sign transaction. And I'm going to sign as Dino, which is this account. I have to go offline again, went offline, so now I can sign it as being Dino. So we can immediately submit the transaction uh, from Dino because he has a weight of three. So signer quorum is uh, three and Dino signed it with three so he can immediately send it, which is immediately successful. So let's open the transaction explorer and now we can see Alice has 1000 XRP less, 8000, almost 8000 now. And we can see that uh, the other account received 1000 XRP. So I hope this tool makes it easier for you to set up multi-signing and actually use multi-signing in a simple and secure way. And uh, if there are any questions or bugs found, uh, please send me a pull request or an issue on the GitHub repository. Happy multi-signing.